I, I want us to pray. I want us to pray over something that I believe is very crucial. Especially for those of us in ministry. Especially for those of us in ministry. Especially for those of us who are pastors. Let's read from Acts of the Apostles chapter 13 beginning from verse 6. Acts of the Apostles chapter 13 uh, beginning from verse 6. Hallelujah. I woke up one morning and I heard a word from heaven. I heard a word from heaven. And I went to church that morning. Declared that word and turned it into prayer. Declared that word and turned it into prayer. And I've seen amazing results. As I prayed this morning, I heard the same word. I heard the same word and I knew that I'm to round up my session this morning by bringing that word to you and for you to turn it into prayer. I know there are some of us in ministry. You know that where you are right now is not where you are supposed to be. You are giving your best. You are giving your best. I'd like us to follow this narration, turn it into prayer. And when they had gone through the aisles unto Paphos, this is Barnabas and Paul, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew. I mean, this is an amazing combination. <laughs> this fellow is a sorcerer. And when you talk about sorcery, you are talking about a combination of witchcraft and magic. Or witchcraft and occultism. A false prophet. In other words, he was carrying himself as a man of God. And then the Bible says he is a Jew. How can a Jew degenerate to this level? This is the seed of Abraham. In other words, he is a church member. <laughs> Whose name was Bar Jesus. But Jesus means son of Jesus. When you see him, you see a believer speaking in tongues. But only God knows the source of that tongue. <laughs> he is a sorcerer. He is a false prophet. He is a Jew. He is a Christian. He masquerades as a believer. Calls himself son of Jesus. Verse 7. Which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man. Hey, hey. I have seen prudent pastors suffer in the hand of this type of people. I have suffered in their hand. <laughs> I, I, am, I, I, I have suffered in their hand. Sergius Paulus, a prudent man who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. This, 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 this deputy, uh, whether he was a governor or whatever he was, had a desire for God. And this by Jesus attaches himself to this man. They attach themselves. In church with potential, they attach themselves. They see somebody with the call of God. They attach themselves. Everybody hear me. Believers have chased more people away from church than the devil has done. You heard me well. Believers, speaking in tongues, have chased more people away from church than the devil has succeeded in chasing away from church. So, Sergius Paulus desired to hear the word of God. Verse 8. But Eliamas, that, that is his real name. <laughs> this man who said he is the son of Jesus, his real name is Eliamas. Eliamas the sorcerer. For so is his name by interpretation which stood them. Which stood them seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Let me put it to you this way. There are three ways in which the devil operates. Three ways. Number one, 
he finds something in you that he can use. He tries to find, he tries to find something in you that he can use. Jesus said, the prince of this world cometh and had nothing in me. In the case of Jesus, he couldn't find anything. So when he couldn't find anything, he left Jesus, engaged his strategy number two. He started checking those around Jesus. He said, until he found something in Judas Iscariot. Do you know that again and again they had attempted to arrest Jesus without success? The day they succeeded was when one of the men around him betrayed him. He found covetousness in Judas Iscariot. They were seated at a communion table where life was flowing. Jesus served communion. When Judas ate communion, it was Satan who entered him. Satan entered Judas at the communion table because his heart was not right with the master. He found something in Judas. So, if the devil can't find anything in you, he gets those around you. If he can find... I'm not asking you to suspect anybody. Don't suspect nobody. You will soon understand. Suspect nobody. So, he found something in Judas. If he can't find anything around the people, in the people around you, he, the third strategy is he sends somebody. He sends somebody that he will use. Eliamas was the one that Satan had planted by this governor. So that he will not give his life to Jesus. So that he will not become a believer. So the Bible says, Eliamas the sorcerer which stood them seeking to turn the deputy away from the faith. <laughs> Only God knows how many people have been turned away from churches by Eliamasis. This Eliamas calls himself son of Jesus. This Eliamas masquerades as a prophet. This Eliamas is a Jew. He is a son of God. He is a son of the house. But he is turning people away from the church. You know, people who chase people from away from church, they don't leave church or they stay in church. The moment they see somebody who has potential, they will befriend the person. Hey, they say this church, that pastor is no good. Hey, 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 hey. He, uh, but they, they are there. The average pastor has suffered in the hand of Eliamasis. This is the word I heard again this morning. Eliamas must be stopped. <laughs> Elia, you don't know what is going on. I didn't know that Satan had planted Eliamasis around me. Uh, people will come to church. You won't see them again. People will come to church. You won't see them again. They will settle down. You don't know what you have done. You won't see them again. You call them, they won't pick your call. Before, they used to wait to see you for five hours. You call them, they, 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 they. there are some Eliamasis. You don't know them. They are speaking in tongues and you think they are speaking in tongues of angels. Their name is not Eliamas. Their name is by Jesus. Son of Jesus. But they are turning people away from the faith. Turning people away from the church. Pastor, I came today with deliverance for you. Every Eliamas must go. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Some member of the church, newly, the fellow joined our church newly that time. And he was in a financial mess. And I prayed for, shared the word of God with him, prayed for him. Prayed for him. He had plenty of money that the new government refused to pay him. They refused to pay him. They refused. We prayed. Within one month, God fought for him. His money was paid. The guy assembled his tithe to bring to the church. Now he's confused. He doesn't know how to bring the tithe. He doesn't know. He has not done. We have a membership class. He hasn't done. We teach them in the membership class how to bring their tithe. There is that you bring out in public. There is the one that you don't bring out in public. Uh -huh. Blessed wicked brothers. So he told this. This is a leader. A, a pastor. 
that look, I have this tight. How, how do I bring it? So the pastor, you want to bring it to this church? Ah, he said, no, no, see, 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 see that. Rev has money. The church has money. That there are some small, small churches somewhere. Is that one that led him sharing the money from church to church? Sharing, when they finished sharing, they came back to our church. Answer now. I was believing God for money and Eliamas is at was at war. <laughs> so uh, about about <laughs> uh, about about three weeks later, when they invited those with tithes to come to the altar, that's the way we do it. To come to the altar, this fellow came out with his tithe. So this new guy is shocked. So immediately the guy goes to his seat. He calls him outside. You told me not to bring my tithe here and you brought your tithe. He said, ah, you see, you know I'm a leader. You see, that reverend is a wicked man. He, if, if I don't come out now, he, I've never pursued anybody for tithe. I've never asked anybody, why are you not bringing your tithe? He said, if he does so, he just brought it as a leader. Hey, the guy was confused. So the next day, the guy called me. He said, I think I've done something wrong and I need to see you. It was that guy who exposed the Eliamas. In fact, the guy told me since that day he has not had peace. And you know the sad part? The door that opened to him closed. Because they, they decided to pay him in three installments. They told him they would pay him over three months. But huge money. Huge money and it was in dollars. It was in dollars. The first installment. He was bringing his tithe to the house. And Eliama. Before we pray, in case you are an Eliamas in your church, you don't ask, you don't only ask God to forgive you. You can't sin against the man of God, sin against the church, and then go to a corner and say, God, forgive me. You must go and confess to the church. Go and confess to the pastor. That is when your, your repentance will walk. Look at um, verse 9. <laughs> then Saul, who is also, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him. It's time to set our eyes on Eliamas. Hey, you are laboring. You are not seeing results. My brother, Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. If you are asking and asking and you are not receiving, there may be an Eliamas somewhere. I'll tell you. <laughs> we, we needed a utility vehicle. I spoke to the Lord. Lord, we need a utility vehicle. Unknown to me, God spoke to a sister in the church. Buy a utility vehicle for the church. The sister bought it. And now, ask <laughs> their, their woman, woman leader. Ask their woman leader. I have this thing God told me. I have bought it. How do I present it to the church? He said, you bought what? You bought a vehicle for which church? This wicked pastor. He said, see a wicked pastor? Very wicked. This, this leader lives there because the leader knows one of the relatives of this woman call that relative. He said, if you people don't help your sister, she will soon sell her house. One Nigerian pastor has brainwashed her. This is what she is doing. That she, Are you people aware she bought a car? They said, no, she's bought a car. She wants to give it to the church. If you don't stop her, the next thing she will sell her house. This lady that night extended and immediate family members descended on her. But you know the sad thing? There was a calamity that was to come. God saw the calamity and required a seed from her. Sometimes what you need to shut the door against the devil is not prayer, it's a seed. There was a calamity coming. I didn't know what was going on. Her family descended on her. In fact, one of the brothers took the vehicle away. I didn't know what was going on. 
but this this leader is still kneeling down to greet me accept everybody who kneels down to greet you but look to the cross <laughs> I said, don't suspect anybody. If you start suspicion, you will kill yourself with high blood pressure. You, you don't suspect anybody. But wherever Eliamas is at, today we are stopping them. Yeah. They will stand at the gate of the church, turning people away. You think they are canceling them. You think they are helping you. They are turning them away. Now, when the calamity broke out, I said, no, this is a precious sister. So no, we are ganging up against the devil. We started praying. Jesus. We, we prayed. Hey. We prayed. Nothing happened. So when we left, I said something is amiss. So I went to seek the Lord. I said, God, no. We felt your power. We sense your glory. How did this thing can remain? And the Lord said to me, ask her, Two years ago, I saw disaster coming and I spoke to her. It was God who told me. I spoke to her to plant a seed for me to overthrow that. She didn't do it. So, the next day I went. I said, did God tell you to do anything two years ago? Hi, she just started crying. Yes. What did he tell you? He said, the Lord told her there is a disaster. There is an attack that is coming. But plant this seed and I will look. Your seed will empower me to overturn the disaster. So I said, so did you plant the seed? No. This is how I got to know. And Eliamas did not only turn away the blessing of the church, they brought calamity on an innocent person. The Lord said to me one Sunday morning, as I just started worshipping him, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. He said to me, Eliamas must be stopped. Hey! So many things had happened. You know, pastors, we are very kind-hearted people. We love people. You see the destructive work that they are doing. You are praying for them to be saved. Paul didn't pray for Eliamas to be saved. Eliamas is an apostate. In other words, he's a believer. He doesn't need to be saved. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him. Uh, verse 11. And said, oh fool of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil. Can you imagine? The man who is calling himself son of Jesus is child of the devil. <laughs> I love what the man of God said yesterday. <laughs> oh, Apostle, is it you? Who said, is it, it's not everybody who came to the altar. Who actually gets born again? <laughs> <It's a post. laughs> it's not. This guy, his name is Bar Jesus, son of Jesus. He was a child of the devil. Thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? Oh, and now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking to be led. He went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed, being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. So, dealing with Eliamas is part of the doctrine of the law. It's part of the doctrine of the law. It is your own enemy you love. Did you hear me? You love your own enemies. But Eliamas is an enemy of the house of God. He is an enemy of the work of God. Let me just say, Eliamas, Eliamas. stop! Say it again. Eliamas. Stop. You are a pastor. You are a church member. There are some Eliamas is hanging out somewhere. Some of them don't operate in the church or they operate in homes. In homes, after service, they will start going from house to house. Ah, oh, sister, I saw you singing in the choir today. I saw you singing in the choir today. That's why sometimes you see some people in the choir. After two, two weeks, you don't see them again. And Eliamas may be at war. Ah, I'm telling you, me, 
in my own life before I learned to take care of them I had abundance of Eliamases hey, hey. I, I'm asking God for compensation I'm telling you I, I, I've been asking God for compensation I, I've suffered Jesus Christ <laughs> <laughs> there are two prayers in two minutes but carry the prayer with you hallelujah uh, amen I say amen. amen prayer number one every Eliamas at the gate of my ministry at the, you, you know some of us and Eliamas is at the gate of your destiny how, how many times have you known people people who help other people they promise to help you when the day comes they say I've changed my mind Sometimes it's a liamasis. Sometimes. So it's not just in the church. In matters of your destiny. Any liamas hanging at the gate of your destiny. Number one, you are overthrowing them. Number one, you are of oh, every liamas. Listen. Liamas, they don't respond to love. They respond to judgment. Paul set his eyes on him. You, you may not see the liamas. But there is a spirit behind them. We pine in that spirit, we overthrow them. Hallelujah. Somebody said, Eliamas, stop. Say with me, every Eliamas at work in my church, at work at the gate of my destiny. The hand of the Lord is against you. I rebuke you. I command you. Cease. Desist. In your operations. Disappear. In Jesus name. Lift up your voice and pray. Every Eliamas at work in my ministry. At work in my church at work at the gate of my destiny your end has come in the name of jesus i command you disappear desist and disappear in the name of jesus the hand of the lord is against you in the name of jesus thank you lord in Jesus name Amen Number two and I pray You will take time after this morning session to, 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 to also deal with this matter You see the devil is relentless When you cast out one Eliamas now He will send another one So any Eliamas on the way coming Some <laughs> Some of us Our Eliamas has not yet arrived But he's on the way any Eliamas on the way coming, turn them back. Turn back. Turn back. Turn back. You can't locate my gate. You can't locate the gate of my destiny. I send the word of God after every Eliamas that is on the way coming. Come into my home. Come into the gate of my destiny. Come into my church. Come into my ministry. I command you. Turn back, turn back, turn back. You will never arrive. You will never succeed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Put those hands together. Celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate the Lord of Lords. Thank you for watching and if this video has blessed you, please like, kindly subscribe and also tap on the notification bell so you can stay notified and updated on our new videos. And please do not forget to share the link to people so we can bless more people. And most importantly, we want to know how this video has blessed you under the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe.